Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm so excited about today because we're going to talk about the second way in which potential speaks to us. We've already started going down that hole, I mean, that road, that journey, that adventure of discussing how exactly does potential speak to us. If potential did have a voice, what does it say? How does it say? How does it sound? Is it high pitch? Is it bass? Is it soprano? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it a whisper? Or is it a shout? I want us to discuss those things and I want us to know how exactly we can hear the voice of potential. Where can we look? Where can we be listening for to understand and to harness the voice of potential? It's going to be good for today. And this one, I am so sure you already know the answer to it. You already know that this is how potential speaks to you. Even as we discuss this today, you will tell that you've heard this voice before. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, yesterday we started going down this road, this adventure of uncovering to know exactly how does potential speak to us. And if you listen to yesterday's episode, you know what we said. If you didn't, please go back. But I'm just going to give you a small recap to that so that you can be up to speed. We say that the first way, or at least the first thing we discuss, that potential, the potential speaks to you in this way. It speaks to you through problems. You might be saying, huh? Yeah, it speaks to you through problems. And we say it this, this way. Did you notice that you are the only one, for example, who notices that kind of a problem? Everybody else is pass, uh, passing it. But it's just you. It it pricks your heart. But the other guys around you, they, they don't give a hoot about it. They don't care about soldiers who are dying in, an, in a foreign country. It, they don't, it doesn't matter to them. For you, it does. Did you notice that for others, you you care about drunk driving? You care about safety on the roads? Uh, some, you care about the environment? I'll never forget. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'll never forget how I was brought to speed on caring about the environment. There's a time I was uh, eating a snack and I just finished eating that snack and threw the paper on the ground. I was with this beautiful lady in the vicinity and uh, one of our friends she was absolutely disappointed with me she picked it up i think put it in my pocket or something like that right and she gave me some small lecture on how to take care of the environment and it it sunk in today i hate the guys who throw litter on the roads but you know it was her who discovered that particular problem in me she she showed that problem my point is that the way potential speaks to you it is through your discovery of problems when you see problems it is potential actually speaking to you telling you you gotta do something about that you gotta reach out today let us look at another way that uh, potential does speak to us number two it speaks to us through passion in our hearts in fact, it's connected to what we said yesterday. Potential speaks to us through passion in our hearts. One thing that you will need to understand, my friend, is that you are passionate about what I am not. I am passionate about what you are not. You might be saying, okay, we are all motivational speakers. No, we are not. 
We might be in the same industry, but we are passionate about different things. I'm not passionate about sales, for example. But if you say Daniel Chaudhry and myself are motivational speakers, you'll be right. But I don't care. I don't give a hoot about sales. He does. So much so that he has a sales institute about that. And I'm having purpose classes about purpose. See, your passion dictates where your potential is also dictates where you need to spend the most of your life at because that's the reason as to why you are created in the first place every time you exude passion for anything or anyone that is the voice of potential it is speaking to you it is saying something it is saying this is what matters and if it says this is what matters, it means beneath that what, what matters to you and in your heart, there is a capacity, there is a potential to see it through. The most sinister thing about the human is that we ignore the things that we are passionate about because we have learned to use different systems in this life. We go along this life, we get by in this life, right, without necessarily using our potential. And the potential stays dormant. We are passionate. But we don't look into that passion. We, we ignore it. And I was passionate about writing, but I ignored that passion about writing. I crowded it out for the, for the most part. I knew I could write at the age of 11 or at the age of 12 or something like that. And I know as I speak, you can also identify something that you were passionate about some years ago. But somehow you just found a way of doing life without necessarily leaning into that particular passion. But you see, at that moment, that was the voice of potential speaking to you. When I first wrote my first essay at the tender age of 10, and it, it, it blew my teachers away. And whom do you think was speaking to me at that time? It was the voice of potential. I was so passionate about that writing. I was just passionate about words. It was, it was, it was potential speaking to me, actually shouting, because other people were blown away by it. However, listen, we have systems in place that are designed to massage our need for certainty, and these systems in place invariably will lead us away or will crowd out the voice of potential like we've already heard in the previous episodes. Why? Because potential represents uncertainty, especially in making ends meet. It represents uncertainty. It's not tried, proven, and tested. See, there is a reason behind the voice of potential that we need to listen to. It was my potential actually shouting when I was writing and people were being blown away. These systems that we have in place, they made me to go away from writing because I had to pursue a degree at the end of the day, right? And I never even found that degree. Listen, it is so much so that even if potential shouted with a megaphone, we do not believe enough or we don't have believe enough to listen to it and heed its voice because of the systems that we've already created but passion in your heart is not just for just as ugandans will tell you it is not just you know a bad way there is a reason behind that voice of potential. It is inextricably connected to your passion, inextricably connected to your purpose. Passion indicates that either you have the potential within you that you can governize or you can get it from somewhere else by helping other people. That's what Trump did with his COVID-19 vaccines. Met them in nine months. In people were telling him they could be, could take ten years. And I know that's political, so I'm not going to dwell there. So don't ignore the things that you are passionate about. There's no reason for you to be passionate without a reason. You know, there's a reason behind the reason. There's this saying saying the main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing, and the main thing behind your passion is your potential. If you are a parent, 
Be open enough not to ignore the passion that your child has. And I know at this moment in time, they are passionate about playing bass guitar. And for you, you are thinking, who gets paid playing bass guitar? Who becomes a millionaire playing bass guitar? I mean, who makes a living playing bass guitar? But why would they be passionate about it in the first place? The thing is, you don't know. You have no idea the extent to which this passion will go. You don't know. The best you can do as a parent is listen and provide. And I know it's expensive. Potential is one of the most expensive things to develop. That's why we have systems in place that, you know, shield us from developing potential. We have school. Just go to school, do the subjects that are supposed to be done in school, participate in extracurricular activities to fulfill our righteousness, period. And that's it. But now you're telling me you can, you want to sing, you want to dance ballet, and they charge, I don't know, X amount of money per, per week. You want to swim, you know, they charge X amount of money per week. You want to play, I don't know, instruments. They, how much are instruments themselves? It is expensive to harness potential. But let me tell you this. That seed that we are planting, that seed that we are planting in, fulfilling the passion that our kids have and even ourselves is going to pay back. You and I don't know. We don't know. All we can do is to be faithful to the voice of potential and listen to it whenever it speaks. Tomorrow, we continue discussing this matters. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.